Hi, welcome to the Southern Maryland Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Southern Maryland housing market, which includes the counties of Calvert, Charles, and St. Mary's. As summer heat waves roll across the nation, it's not just the climate that's in a hazy state. Despite the partisan soap opera in Washington and anxiety on Wall Street, Home buyers on Main Street are finding better deals than during either of the recent tax credits. Affordable prices, strong negotiating power, and a promise from the Fed to maintain interest rates around 5% all create a favorable purchase environment. Pending sales were up an astronomical 56.8% from July 2010 to arrive at 301 for the month. The increase in buyer activity is the result of three driving forces. Slow activity at this time last year, strong affordability and attractive financing, and suppressed purchase demand from the fall and winter of 2010. Okay, so maybe that's four things. Buyers soaked up the inventory of available homes for sale like a sponge, causing inventory levels to plunge 24.3% to 1,775 units. Prices were unchanged from last year. The median sales price remained flat at $260,000. That reflects the ongoing stabilization occurring in the marketplace. Last time we discussed some potential signals that the market tides are beginning to turn. Before the tides shift, buyers must absorb excess inventory for the market to return to balance. Thankfully, month supply of inventory does a phenomenal job of measuring just that. There are currently 7.9 months supply of homes on the market, down 26.6% from the 10.8 months seen at this time last year. That's how long it would take for buyers to absorb all active listings. Typically, between 5 and 6 months is considered balanced. The three-word real estate mantra may soon need a partner. Sure, location is still paramount, but jobs, jobs, jobs is becoming increasingly relevant. Job growth fuels housing demand by strengthening purchasing power and stimulating new household formation. We added 117,000 new jobs in July, and second quarter GDP growth was 1.3%. Though we've seen worse, we will need more than twice those levels just to keep pace with population growth. However, As consumers absorb housing inventory and labor market conditions improve, the wheels of recovery grind on. That's the Southern Maryland Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.